Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I'm gonna show you a new project called Livewire. If you're in the Laravel space, you've probably already seen Livewire. And Livewire is a great way to build these uh, applications that have two-way data binding uh, between your front end and your back end. Uh, it's also a great way to create these kind of single page applications without dealing with the complexity of a library like Vue or React. So this is my introductory into Laravel Livewire. If you do want to learn more, the creator of Livewire has put together some really nice screencasts that you can go to the Livewire website and check them out. But let's go ahead and jump into it. I've just created a new application just inside of a new folder called Livewire, and that's what we're seeing right here in front of us. So let's go to the Livewire docs and see how we can get started. So if we come here to the documentation, you can see that we can install Livewire by running this composer command. So let's go ahead and do just that. Okay, and after we've included that, then we go back here to the docs and it says that we need to include the Livewire styles and the Livewire scripts in our main layout file. So if we go to our application inside of our resources views, we have this default welcome.blade.php and I'm just gonna go ahead and use this. I'm just gonna create a blank HTML page and I will just call this Livewire is awesome. So we need to include the styles up here in the head. And then we also need to include the live wire scripts right above the ending body tag. So you can see that you can just copy them and paste them into your main layout right there. And then it says here we can create a component. So I'm gonna go ahead and just copy this. And instead of calling our component counter, I think I'll just call this maybe something like post. So, so let's run PHP artisan make Livewire post. Okay, and after I've done that, I can then go into my app HTTP and I have this new folder called Livewire. And then we have the post.php controller right here. And then it's also created a new file inside of our resources views, Livewire post.blade.php. So the post.php is our controller for our Livewire component where we'll be doing a lot of our PHP functionality. And the host view is actually our Livewire view where we'll be displaying a lot of the data to the user. So let's go ahead and just add a public property and we'll just call this title. Now let's go ahead and see how we can include this component. If we scroll down here, you'll see in the documentation they explain that we have our controller and then we have our view. And if we go down, it says including the component. So we can include this by saying at Livewire and then the name of our component. So in our case, this is going to be the post. So I'll change this to post. And how about I just echo out something right here. I'll just say hello Livewire. And let's just make sure that this is working. So we'll go to our application, reload, and we get hello Livewire. Okay, and so now let's look at how we can do a little bit of two-way data binding. So this is insanely cool. We have access to these public properties that we create from our controller right here inside of our view. So let's go ahead and just echo out, how about we'll say title. Uh, but right now this actually doesn't have any content inside of it. So we need to actually use a function called mount. And this function gets called whenever the component is mounted. So we can say this title equals hello from Livewire. Let's save that, let's go back here and reload and you can see that we get hello from Livewire. So this is super cool because we just created this public property right here in our controller and then we specified it in this mount function and then we were able to echo out this right here in the page. So let's go ahead and run an if condition. So I'm gonna say if is set title, and then I'm going to end if. So how about I actually do an else? And maybe right here, I'll just say no title. So let's actually comment this out and let's save this and Go back and reload and you can see that it says no title. So we just ran that condition to say that the value of title is not set. So we just ran this right here. Now this is something else that's really cool. So I'm gonna create a button and I'm going to say wire, click. 
I want to call a method that is going to set our title. So we'll say set title, and how about I pass something in here that says rad. And I'll just change this to set my title. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt your video. I just wanna let you know about a new program that I've been working on called the Ninja Training Program. And this will teach you how to create your very own software as a service. You'll start up at the very beginning and I'll even teach you things from HTML through JavaScript and then PHP, Laravel, and then how to create your own successful software as a service. Uh, so make sure to check out devdojo.com slash ninja. And now back to your video. So now that we're running this wire click, we can actually call a method from our post controller. So I need to create this set title function. And we're going to pass in the title that we want to set. So we're gonna say this title equals the title that we pass in. So let's go ahead and just save this and let's try this out. We go back here, we reload, we can see that there is no title. But now if we click this button, we should actually set the title. And you can see that the if condition gets rerun and then we actually set the title and it's displayed right here. So you can check out all of the lifecycle hooks right here inside of the documentation. It has the mount function, the hydrate, updating, updating specific uh, public methods or public variables. So if you were to update a specific variable, this would be called right here. And then you can see that we have JavaScript hooks and just a whole bunch of cool stuff. I think I'm going to leave the video right here as is. We didn't do much functionality, but I think I was able to show you just the awesomeness of working with Livewire on the front end and then talking to the back end. Uh, it's really cool because you can now do two-way data binding with your front end and your back end. It's pretty much like JavaScript and PHP are now talking together simultaneously. Uh, be sure to check out the documentation at laravellivewire.com. Be sure to star the repo and be sure to check out the screencasts. But like I said, I will be having more videos in the future. I'll probably do like a whole 101 course on Laravel Livewire. And I think we'll probably create something like a simple blog. But my objective for this video was just to show you how awesome Livewire is. And if you haven't checked it out yet, I would encourage you to check it out and I will talk to you in a future screencast.